with direct flights from over 95 international destinations. Fly Ethiopian Airlines, the new Spirit of Africa, a Star Alliance member. State-owned Ethiopian Airlines is Africa's premier carrier of passenger and freight traffic. But among the regular cargo, evidence of sinister shipments. CNN can reveal, based on documentary evidence and witnesses' accounts, Ethiopian Airlines has been transporting weapons between Ethiopia and Eritrea since the beginning of the war in Ethiopia that has seen thousands killed. According to aviation experts, this would constitute a violation of aviation law. Among the evidence are these stills that were taken on board Ethiopian Airlines flight ET-3313 and verified by CNN. It's the middle of the night. This cargo plane is being loaded by hand, a slow and unorthodox method. But look closer. This isn't usual cargo. Inside these boxes are mortars. They are being loaded onto this civilian aircraft and transported from Eritrea to Ethiopia. Here is the cargo manifest, corroborating the day and time, November 8th, 2020. The date is significant. It's just four days into the conflict and months before Eritrea officially admits to being involved. Ethiopia has been at war with the Tigray regional government, the Tigray People's Liberation Front, for almost a year. Eritrea to the north has become the Ethiopian government's ally against the region of Tigray. An unusual alliance as the countries were previously at war with each other. Now they have a common enemy, Tigray, and they are sharing weaponry. CNN, CNN, we're CNN, journalists. It's impossible. CNN has been reporting on atrocities in Ethiopia since the beginning of the year. If you want to have detained a CNN team, then that's what's happened now, because we're not going to the camp willingly. We travelled to Tigray last April and saw for ourselves Eritrean troops manning checkpoints with impunity, while the Ethiopian government denied their presence on the ground. That relationship between Ethiopia and Eritrea began months earlier, in November 2020, which coincided with an increase in the movement of weapons, shuttled back and forth from the Ethiopian capital to Eritrea. During the same month, there was also a series of massacres in the region of Tigray. An Ethiopian Airlines employee turned whistleblower spoke to CNN about how he had to deal with an unusual request. So my car is I'm thinking about uh, In various statements, Ethiopian Airlines has always adamantly denied ferrying arms on passenger or cargo planes. But in addition to speaking with whistleblowers, verifying cargo manifests and authenticating stills, CNN has obtained airway bill receipts that show at least six occasions in November where Ethiopian Airlines billed the Ethiopian Ministry of Defense to ship military items, including guns and ammunition, to Eritrea. In the end, the success of Ethiopian Airlines is an important and impressive symbol of the limitless potential of the U.S.-Ethiopian partnership. Ethiopian Airlines built its cargo dominance through a relationship with the U.S. government and American aviation giant Boeing. These new CNN findings, together with previous investigations into atrocities committed by Ethiopian forces, would constitute violations of international law, according to aviation experts, and run contrary to the terms of that relationship with the U.S. government. Whether this forces the U.S. to act substantively against the Ethiopian government remains to be seen. 